Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm breaking down a set of solid, practical methods that will help you find bugs on bug bounty targets. These are the same approaches I use every day, and by the end, you'll know exactly how to hunt more effectively. As always, remember that ethical hacking requires proper authorization. Make sure you have explicit permission before testing any assets. This video is for educational purposes only. Let's get started. First, I'll demonstrate how to access 404 endpoints. For this example, I'm visiting a website's endpoint on this site. As you can see, it returns a 404 error. However, by using a Wayback Machine extension, we can open a previously archived version of this page. And here we go. The archived version displays the full web stats, including visitor logs, host IPs, and which endpoints were visited most. For even easier access, you can use this custom Wayback extension I created for specific paths, URLs, with others options. As you see, it lists all the archive results for the given 404 endpoint. Now let's move to GhostBiter. This tool helps you find hidden endpoints, subdomains, S3 buckets, and other useful information by crawling the website. Just run the basic command and you'll start seeing results. It also uses Link Finder to pull paths from JavaScript files. If you want a cleaner output, apply this regex to display the full URLs. You can also use this grep command specifically for JavaScript files. By default, a standard GhostBiter scan might not find certain 404 results, so you can use the passive flag to find them all from some other sources. While the scan is running, you can copy these JavaScript URLs, open them in your browser, and check them manually. For better analysis, I recommend using this code formatter extension. This will beautify the minified code, making it much easier to search for API keys, tokens, and other secrets. Once the scan finishes, you can now see the 404 URLs results that were found using that passive flag. For even more URLs, you can use the depth flag, which crawls deeper than a normal scan and find more URLs. Using this method, I found an interesting endpoint. When I visited it, it revealed an admin login link. After finding the admin credentials through a third-party OSINT service, I successfully accessed the dashboard. I then tested for cross-site scripting and found it worked on many endpoints. While it was vulnerable to other bugs too, gaining admin panel access was enough for a high impact report, so I stopped there. As an update, that WebSats endpoint I showed earlier was forbidden before. After I reported the issue, the company removed it completely. I also reported the admin login leaks, which they fixed by implementing an OTP-based authentication. Next, you can also use GhostBiter to find hidden S3 URLs. First, let me show you the S3 URL in the page source manually, right here. Now, if we run GhostBiter, you'll see it finds that same S3 URL automatically. You can also combine GhostBiter's output with the Unfurl tool to extract only the unique subdomains. You can use the same technique with a different flag to extract unique paths. Next, you can run this combined one-liner along with the Nuclei template to detect API tokens and secret keys inside JavaScript files. You can also use the Lazy Egg tool for the same purpose. It can reveal hidden domains, paths, and other useful findings. And finally, you can use the Find Something extension to uncover hidden paths and secrets directly from the page source. That's a wrap for today's video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button 
so you're always updated with our latest content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.